The warning came January 26th from then Acting Attorney General Sally Yates to White House Counsel Don McGahn. I called Don McGahn first thing that morning and told him that I had a very sensitive matter that I needed to discuss with him. A sensitive matter concerning then National Security Advisor Michael Flynn, who had just been interviewed by the FBI at the White House two days before. Yates warned that Flynn hadn't been forthcoming about conversations he'd had with Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak about U.S. sanctions during campaign 2016. That created a compromise situation, a situation where the National Security Advisor essentially could be blackmailed by the Russians. After Yates's warning, the president was immediately informed of the situation. On January 27th, the day after her warning, Yates testified she returned to the White House for a second meeting with McGahn. During that meeting, Yates said McGahn asked her if he could look at the evidence that had her so concerned about General Flynn. The date of January 27th is key, and here's why. President Donald Trump has now revealed that he had dinner with then-FBI Director James Comey on that very same evening, January 27th, at the White House. A private dinner soon after the president learned that his NSA director was being investigated for ties to Russia. In his interview with NBC, the president said he can't remember who called the dinner. But new CNN reporting reveals Comey says it was at the president's request. So was the timing of this dinner just a coincidence? What exactly had the president been told that the Department of Justice and FBI had learned? And would it have been enough to trigger a dinner at the White House and a test of loyalty? Trump apparently had a few questions of his own for the man leading the Russia investigation. I said, if it's possible, would you let me know Am I under investigation? He said, you are not under investigation. Randy Kay, CNN, New York.